Hey guys, this is Infinite here and today I have got something really exciting for you. Today I am going to show you how you can play PUBG mobile Android game on PC. Yes guys, the PUBG mobile game is finally here and PUBG gaming company have sold its licenses to Chinese company named Tencent who have developed an almost exact replica of PUBG PC on the Android game. Guys, when I first heard about it, I thought that it's just another Chinese company trying to replicate the PUBG game. But not today guys, this is completely rigid here and you will be astonished to know how far and how pretty damn close they have bought the level of experience from PC to mobile. They have created the same magic that you feel, same excitement you feel when you play this game on PC on your mobile. But guys as you know that the PC version of this PUBG game is not free and also it's really really demanding so that the average PC couldn't even run it really smoothly. Mobile version of this game is also really demanding and only high end devices can play this game with the highest graphic setting. So what we are gonna do here is we are gonna play this mobile Android version on the PC right on your desktop in which we will get an advantage over both PC and mobile. It's completely rigid, there's nothing wrong here, no cracky stuff. So let's get started. Alright guys, first thing first, first we need to download an emulator to play that actual Android game on the PC. So I'm using the Nox emulator here. You can download it from a big Nox website. Before you do that, uh, in the link in the bio, I have put a link which looks like this. You can put that up into the downloads. It's a link to a file which is of 1.6 GB, which is really important for the whole process to work. So um, let's put it right here. So um, this is the Nox player. Just download it. I have already downloaded it and now you want to open it up and install it just wait for it to install so guys as you can see now we have Nox Play installed now what you want to do is not start this up you want to cross this and when you go to your desktop you will see two icons one is for Nox and one is multi -track. You don't want to open Nox right away, you want to open Multidrive right now. In Multidrive guys, you will see something like this. Here you want to add an emulator for Android 5.1 version. This is the currently the latest version which Nox player is offering and it's rather quite good. So as you can see, it's downloading the version of Android 5.1. It's really important because of to use this backup uh, we need to be in sync with the version this backup is specifically made for this version only and also the PUBG game can only run on the Android 5 version or higher so that is really great so guys as you can see it is finished downloading and now it's unlocking the files and as soon as it is completed you will see something like this now guys what do you wanna do is you want to minimize this and you want to go to the file which you downloaded previously and you want to extract it as you can see i have extracted it right here to save time the file will look something like this so what do you want to do is go to the nox player click on backup and import click on import and you need to select the path to this file for me it's on desktop and this is the name of the file and click open what will this do is it will install the backup i have already created in this backup i have already installed the pubg game and i have already installed the wechat and qq app which are the two apps uh, which uh, are required for the accounts of the pubg pubg mobile android game is right now free but you still need to create an account on wechat on qq so uh, these both apps are already available and in this uh, backup only i have already optimized the game up to the level i could so 
this is really helpful and uh, as you can see it's uh, importing and let's wait for it to import all the files alright guys it has finished importing and as you can see now what do you want to do is go to the settings and in here if you see instead of 01 you probably don't have virtualization technology enabled in your BIOS. So to do that, you want to go to your BIOS when a computer starts and enable virtualization technology. Now this is different for every PC according to motherboards. So you need to find where uh, find this setting in your BIOS menu for your particular motherboard. And now uh, you must make sure that it's in 12, uh, 1280 to 720 resolution and also that the uh, graphic rendering mode is set to direct as which will give us maximum performance so we need to save this settings and now we are ready to launch nox player Guys, as you can see, we have finished the boot up, and this is how our emulator will look like. Here, I have installed all the apps, and uh, um, here's a WeChat app. You can use this to log in and then go to the PUBG, and here's a QQ account. You can use that for creating an account too. So, if you see a red exclamation mark like this here, you pro your uh, Nox is probably not using the graphic card user you, uh, your computer have it may be nvidia or it may be amd so what you want to do is for nvidia at least you want to go right click on your computer window and click on nvidia control panel guys in nvidia control panel you want to go to manage 3d settings and in that you want to go to global settings and in that you must select high performance nvidia processor this is really really important for your things to work so i'm gonna apply it right here so guys that's pretty much it you can get rid of this exclamation mark on your next boot of this so what i'm gonna do is quickly restart it so uh, as you can see uh, my Nox player is running pretty smoothly right here and now what you want to do is before starting the game you want to go into the settings bar right here and in the settings bar you want to click root if it already isn't and as you can see something's changed here performance setting has been changed to middle you want to go on high there and everything is the same click on save settings and reset okay so now what you want to do is you want to go to the chill tools and by confirming this all this you want to install it so our chill tools have now been installed which was really crucial for our game to work so uh, what you want to do is uh, after installing chill tools you want to click on it again and from here what you want to do is click on the pubg game as you can see i've already enabled all the settings right here you just need to install it so you don't have to click here and make sure that this icon right here is on and also these two ticks right here are on so after doing that i'm gonna quickly close it and gonna open the pubg app guys this is the first time the pubg has been booting up for you it will ask you to add the WeChat account or QQ account here. So let's wait for it to boot up. And here you go. This is our game loaded, loaded up. And here you want to enter your WeChat ID if you have already have one. It will ask app for everything. I'm just going to add mine quickly.
So as you can see guys, now my game has been booted up and I can already see the FPS meter right here. Now my game is booting up into the main menu. Let's wait for that. Alright guys, this is some Chinese sex, just remove it and as you can see it has already took us to the highest setting. This is the Chinese sex, I also don't understand a lot of it but I can understand that this is the highest setting and this is about some events right here inside the game. Alright, so guys our game have been booted up. Now this is the menu as you see for starting the game. This is the team mode, this is duo mode and this is the solo mode. Most people prefer the solo mode so I will also prefer the solo mode. And this is for adding the friends. You can add your WeChat friends right here. And these are the events, regular events. You can just randomly click them to claim reward. Like I'll just this. But for this you have to do missions every day. And these are also the events. Right here guys is the main stuff. This here is for the customization of the character and this is here for the crate. You will see all the crates you have right here and from here also you can buy the crate. I have 4036 crates so I am gonna buy a crate for you. So as you can see I have the crate and I also got some boots. So uh, now what you wanna do is go into the settings bar and here you can see a menu like this and now where do you want to go is go to the this setting this is the graphics setting this is for fps and you want to put this right here make sure it's right there and this is for the highest graphics and this right here is for ultra graphics but you can't use it as the game is still in development and developers haven't supported it this is the high setting and these are the setting you can create for the classic menu and other menus uh, or the other modes you want so i will just put it right here this is for the bullet positionings and this is the main thing right here guys you want to put this this driving mode to the middle one because of this you will be able to move your car just by your joystick don't use this you don't use this it will create a lot of hassle for you use this settings and this is for the sensitivity you want to put this on the lowest as you are using it on the pc and this is for all the auto pickup with this it will automatically pick up the recommended weapons once you start to play the game you will get the hang of it and this is for the sounds and this is for the recording this is a de developing feature which is not available right now as you can see but it will be available in the future so as you can see my game is already pretty smooth so let me run a sample game to show you how it works all right guys our game is being loaded right here as you can see our game have been loaded and here we see a lot of keys on the screen right here these are the keys provided by the nox emulator and with this little keyboard right here you can edit them and change them but some of these keys are default and you should uh, keep it at that only because this is pretty much everything you are gonna need but the main thing we are interested in is this this is the main thing with this if i press v on my keyboard i'm able to move my mouse and the crosshair on the screen with it so this basically give me an advantage over other players with this i can aim with my mouse which other player can't in mobile it's really uh, really difficult to aim because you have to put your crosshair on someone's head by moving it manually but with this you can move it with your mouse on which gives you an advantage over other players and that is really good so I'm just gonna quickly cut off this plane here. Uh, I think right here. Also, one thing more, guys, that this game supports for YouTube looping. So that is a great thing. You can optimize your ping based on your Wi-Fi or on your LAN connection and you can see the actual results here. So that is pretty good. And if you die, you pretty much know if it was lag or because of something else. 
So right now I am banking forward by pressing W key on my keyboard which is pretty straightforward because of these key sets I am able to do pretty much everything that I was able to do in the PC. So let's uh, go to this house. Alright, I have landed here. Then I'm quickly gonna go to this house. Now guys I'm gonna press V to move my character with my mouse here. Now as you can see I can move freely and to pick the item well guys the item in the yellow are the essential items and as I showed you in the uh, settings menu it will automatically pick up the recommended items if you have it enabled sometimes it's get in the way so make sure to enable or disable it if you want so right now we are going up top trying to find a weapon all right let's get outside here maybe i just heard some noise Finally, guys, we got a weapon here. And now I will get inside the house here. Guys, with E, you can you know, increase the speed of picking your weapon because E is the key right here, which shows up if anything you want to pick up. So, that is really a great thing. Alright, we found an AK, guys. Let's go. All right, guys, we got our first kill. See, I used my crosshair and he couldn't even aim. So that was the advantage I was talking about. I feel bad for him, but whoever, whoever gets it first, right? Alright, let me pick up his sword real quick. Let's get to the real gun sword. That's it guys, I think. Oh, I see someone. Okay, I got him. I think there is someone else too. Okay, and I'm full. Oh, I will take that. Let's pick us up to shoot. If we see someone else here. Alright, guys, that was it for this video, and I think I've shown you all the controls. But if you still have some difficulty, I will make a separate video for you to show all the controls, and I will also show you all the uh, Chinese characters translated into the English version in that. So. Till then if you like this video please press that like button and subscribe to my channel for more of this awesome stuff every day. Till then I will see you in my next video.